The objective today is to name numbers within 1 million by building understanding of the place value chart and placement of commas. Let's start by labeling a place value chart. So we have this place value chart. The place to the furthest to the right there is the ones place. Then we have the tens place. Then we have the hundreds place. What comes next? Did you say thousands place? After the thousands place, we have the ten thousands place. And then we have the hundred thousands place. And then we have the millions place. So we have, and what would come next is the ten millions place. So we have, if you look at this again with me, we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. You'll notice, just as there is a tens place, there is also a ten thousands place. Just as there is a hundreds place, there is a hundred thousands place. We also have ones place, hundreds, millions. We don't call it one hundreds place or one millions place. We just call it the hundreds place or the millions place. Depending on where it is that we put place value disks within this place value chart, we can model different numbers. So there's two million there. And let's draw some more here, where we have three ten thousands there. And we'll just draw that many there. Let's think about what this is worth then. Put a two there, a zero there, because there are zero hundred thousands. We have three there. We'll put a five, it looks like, for the thousands. And then we still have to have placeholders where it is that there's zeros for the ones tens, and hundreds. The other thing that we're going to continue to work on is our placement of commas. If I write out this number, 2035000, let's go ahead and place our comma so it'll be easier to see this number and also easier to read this number. We'll count from right to left, three places, ones, tens, hundreds, We'll place our comma there. Do the same thing again, three more places, and place another comma. So this number here is read as 2,035,000. Read it again, 2,035,000. Where would I place my commas for each of these numbers? That first one is 5782416. Starting from right to left, we've got one, two, and three places, so we place a comma there. One, two, and three more places, so we place a comma there. So we have 5, comma, 782, comma, 416, or that number is written as 5,782,416. 416. How many thousands are in this number? There's actually 5,782 thousands in that number. Let's look at this next number here. Let's place our commas. How many commas do we need? Can you write it out on a piece of paper? Did you place one comma? How many thousands are in this number? Did you answer that there are 934 thousands in this number? Were you able to read this number? And where would you place the commas within the last one? You try.
Did you place them like that? Where this number would be 816,039,256. Where there are 816 million in that number. Let's go ahead and use this place value chart and digits to be able to model this problem. Can you read that problem? Five ten thousands, three hundreds, times ten. So let's model this first. Using digits. It says five ten thousands. So we'll place the five digit in the ten thousands place. But we also have three hundreds. We will write right there. That number in standard form is five zero three zero zero, and the comma goes right there, so that there is fifty thousand three hundred that we're still multiplying by ten. Will the number get bigger or smaller if we're multiplying by 10? Yes, the number gets bigger. The digits shift in what direction to get larger? They will shift one place over to the left. So those five ten thousands are now worth five hundred thousands. Let's shift not just one digit, but both of those digits. What's the new number that we have? We have five zero three zero zero zero. I'll carefully place my comma there, and let's read that whole thing there. Fifty thousand three hundred times ten equals five hundred three thousand. The other types of questions that I might ask you is how many ten thousands are within this number? Sure, there's a zero within this place, but there's actually a five within this place, so there are fifty ten thousands in this number. How many thousands are in this number? There would be five hundred three thousands in this number, or even five hundred three thousand ones. Let's give you a problem to try. Here is a problem for you to try. We have eight thousands, five ones, times ten. Make sure that you draw that place value chart, and you can either use numbers or disks in your place value chart to figure out the product or what this equals. Pause the video and do your work, please. Okay, eight thousands. Let's model that first. I'm going to use numbers. If you used disks, that is fine. In this case, I have modeled eight thousand five. What will I do now is I'm still multiplying by ten. What happens to a 1 if you multiply by 10? It would be worth 10. Or 10 ones, which also equals 10. So 5 of those ones times 10 equals 5 tens. 8 thousands times 10 would be worth 8 ten thousands. And then so when we're looking here, how would we write this number? It's eight, zero in the thousands, zero in the hundreds, five in the tens, zero in the ones. Where do you place the comma? One, two, and three, comma. So that we have the number 80,050. 8,005 times 10 equals 80,050 where 
we had those 8 times 10, or 8 thousandths times 10, does equal 80,000. And put it together with those 5 ones times 10, which does equal 50. So we're continuing to work here and to use that place value chart to continue to build our understanding of these larger numbers, even numbers up to a million. We're continuing to understand how it is that we place our commas within those numbers.